Hey y'all, Salahi Nariva. Thanks so much for being here. If you're new here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This channel is dedicated to me embracing turning 40 and so on and so on and so on. I'm so excited for this channel. Um, I'm so excited for the growth. I'm so excited for where I'm going to be in life. I'm so excited for what God has in store for me. I have really been manifesting, fasting. I've been in deep prayer about where I'm supposed to be in life. And two things that I'm really working on right now um, is my finances and my prayer and spiritual life. I feel like God has been making adjustments for me. And I feel like it's very important to really be aware of where I'm at in life and where I'm where I'm trying to go. With that being said, um, there are some things that I wanted to do, um, wanted to accomplish before I, you know, before I turned 40. But I feel like after having conversations with God and praying and meditating that he wants me to do other things. Uh, right now in my life, I feel like my career is going great. I am somewhere where I love. I'm somewhere where I feel empowered. I'm somewhere where my voice matters. I am also thriving in my purpose. Um, so I, I really appreciate the fact that I finally got settled somewhere career wise where I, I don't wake up every morning. I'm like, Oh my God, I gotta, I gotta deal with this. You know what I mean? Or, Oh my God. Um, I, prior to this position that I have, I was working in an insurance field and I just didn't care too much for it. Um, I'm a licensed agent as well too. And I just kind of hated it <laughs> type of deal. Um, but it, it paid the bills. It was a struggle. Um, but I was able to stay afloat and I desire an increase. I want more in my life. And I feel like the more that I ask God for, the more I'm going to have to do as well too. I need to put, do some more work, um, on myself and I, I want to get more into the word. I don't know really where to start. Um, I have been going to the same church for 10 years and I love my church. My church is so supportive. They don't judge me at all. Um, they're always happy to see me and my family every time we come. Um, even if I happen to miss a Sunday or, or, or whatever it is, they don't never say anything, you know, mean. They're just always delighted to see me, my family, which is so great. Now, I've done vision boards before. However, I have not done a prayer wall before. The last two years, I think I wanted to do a vision board. I just didn't do it because I felt like it was not, it just wasn't going to do me. I don't know. I just. I don't know. I don't know. I just didn't, I just didn't feel like doing it. But right now I know the idea of a, of a prayer wall is more popular. And a lot of folks on social media have been doing prayer parties, which are prayer wall parties, which is so exciting. I, I have like certain categories where I want to put my focus on for this year. One of the main things that I want to put my focus on is finances. I also want to make sure that I give my offering in my tithes. I have lacked for so many years with paying my tithes in offering. And God loves a cheerful giver. He just does. I was in the mindset of, Lord, if I give my 10%, I'm not going to be able to make it. Because previous to this current position that I'm in now, and I'm still working my way out of it, but previous to this position, I, the 10% was not, it was not, it was not going to happen. Um, I, it, it was times where I, I paid all my bills and literally only had $13 left to make it for the next two weeks. And it was by the grace of God that I made it. Um, he always makes a way out of no way. And I feel like now I've been feeling really conflicted because I unfortunately did not, or have not uh, really set the tone for tithing and offering. This past Sunday, I did give an offering. Um, you know, you do your you do your tithes. You know, ten percent every time you get paid. But then I was just also having a conversation with my sisters about tithing and offering. I created like I put it out there for my sisters to have a um, 
you know, um, a cash binder chit chat slash party. My sisters did like the idea. They all showed up for the meeting. It was via Zoom. It was so much fun with them. We just shared information, financial information. We got down and dirty with our debt. We got down and dirty on how, how we're going to save. We have accountability partners as well, too. And I was, I think that out of all the times that, that we meet, finances are just such a, it's such a taboo conversation to talk about. Because you really don't want anyone to know what you're spending your money on or you don't want to feel judged. Um, when I did how I how I said it, I said, look, whatever happens, of course, you know, it stays here. I feel like a lot of the conversations that my sisters and I, we talk about is very confidential. But because finances is such a, a touchy subject, we're all mature enough to be like, hey, this is where I'm at. And um, I don't like where I'm at financially. Um, we've talked also about, you know, a, a financial advisor. I've considered getting a financial advisor as well too, but I also, I'm just like, let me see what I can do first because I, how is someone going to take me serious paid or not if, if I don't invest in myself? So with that being said, I did get a cash miner. I did. I'm going to show you all also in um, this same upload what it comes with as well too so that you'll all be able to see i don't write for right now i'm just getting in the mind frame of putting cash in the in the binder don't have a set amount right now i want to see if it can if it can actually stay in there it's so crazy because i asked my sisters i said why is it that money always burns a hole in our pockets and they're just like, we don't know. We just always want to, we just, I don't know. It's just, just a spending. It's so hard to let money just spend there to, to just sit there. So, um, when I had got this, uh, binder, when I got it, I got it from Amazon as well too. And I, I had a lot of cash and I, for the life of me, felt deep down in my heart that I put it somewhere and I could never find it for the past couple of months. I was like, where's that money? I was like, well, maybe I did spend. I was like, no, but I really don't think that I spent the money. And I was like searching and searching. And I was like, well, I don't know where it's at. Up to behold, the water cash was in one of my cosmetic bags. I, I don't know. That shows you how much I wore makeup too. <laughs> it was in my cosmetic bag. I don't know. So what I did was I said, okay. And there were, there were times when I could have used that money too. I said, you know what? Since I ain't seen that money in so long, first of all, thank you, God, because I, I thought that I, I knew I didn't spend it, but I just accepted and settled upon the fact that I spent the money. Thank you, Lord, because that, that even though I know that I didn't spend it, I understand that I can start saving. Now, with that being said, I took the money and just put it in different um, envelopes in the binder and then I said okay this is something that I'm going to do for myself I want to start saving I no longer want money to burn a hole in my pocket I want to have boundaries I want to be able to set budgets I don't want to be broke anymore I live in California and I make really good money however <laughs> California is very expensive and I am a single mother and I have two small children, which like I said, y'all ain't gonna see on the channel. If they happen to pop in, they just happen to pop in, but the channel's not gonna be focused around them and me and mother and stuff like that. I may mention it every so now because that's just my life and I can't, I cannot hide that and I will never hide that I am a mother. But there are some things that I want to be able to do. I also want to work back on my emergency fund. I exhausted my emergency fund maybe three years ago so I don't have one anymore and I feel like it's so important to just have an emergency fund now I did pay off my car a couple of months ago and I'm super excited for that but it's like other bills start popping up <laughs> and I'm just like I should be able to save my car now but with that being said I'm going to take my money that I get when I get paid and I'm going to put some of the money in my envelopes and just start saving.
Like I said, I don't have a set amount. I just want to get into the idea of knowing that I have cash and but also accept the fact that I'm I'm not going to touch it. And that's that's where I'm where I'm at. And I know that this is something that I can do. I don't want to be tempted as well too. It's going to require me to be more diligent with uh budgeting, um more cautious about what I'm what I am uh, saving, more cautious about what I'm spending my money on as well too. So I'm going to go ahead and just show y'all um, how I'm doing this or what type of categories I have. My categories may be different than you all's categories, but this is what I'm doing for right now. This is not going to be the end of the binders I'm going to get because there is another type of binder that I actually want to purchase. But before I spend all that money on those other cute little, you know, embellishments and binders and cash stuffing envelopes and stuff like that, let me invest in myself first to where I can get in the mode and in the frame of doing this. So I'm super excited and I'm praying that I can stick with I know I can do it. I know that I can do this. I can do this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we're just going to just have fun with it. So thanks so much for listening. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into showing you what's in this envelope. All right, y'all. Not the envelope, the binder, y'all. I'm my mind out because I want to do the envelope challenge as well, too. I'm going to do that later. I'm, I'm going to take care of this one first. All right. <laughs> okay, so here is the binder that I got. I purchased it from Amazon. I love the color. It's so cute. I love the fact that it's not really big and bulky. And it comes with some labels here as well. Look at the size of it. It's really, really cute. I don't know. I just love the little blues and with the pin of purple and the orange and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it came with the labels and stuff like that as well, too. And I felt like it was more than enough um, space in here as well, too. See, look at that. Isn't it cute, y'all? It is cute. So here they had the blank labels and they also had a lot of, um, you know, different um, labels with the different topics. Some of them I felt were duplicate. So I'm going to take what I want out of these labels and I may have to duplicate a couple of them, but I'm going to make it work for myself. The labels were actually pretty decent qual um, quality as well, too. One of my sisters that did purchase one of these binders, she did not even like the labels that were pre um, pre printed and sent out to us so she used her label maker and actually made her own um categories so this is you know something that we can all um cater to our what to our liking so also it has the budget sheets as well too right now I don't think I'm going to use the budget sheets only because I want to like I said get more involved and more strict with putting money in the um, in my binder and I wanted to actually stay in there. So I think after some time, I will definitely, um, utilize these sheets more, but right now I'm not going to do that, but there's plenty of budget sheets available in this set as well too. And yeah, so I'm, I'm rather excited. I'm getting more geared into, um, thinking about the topics, um, or categories that I want to add and the sleeves feel really good, um, you know, decent quality as well, too. I was a little concerned about the actual zipper part, but I'm actually am not going to take the binder outside the home. Some folks do, um, but I'm actually going to keep this at home and then just take what I need when I do decide to pull money out of there. So that's what I'm going to do. So as you can see, I use groceries, dining out. Um, vacation. I got a water one. Um, also for, you know, my birthday and then for gifts separately, you know, for Christmas and stuff like that. And just for other birthdays, car gas as well. Um, cause I don't, I don't have a car note or so, which is great. And then I did clothing, personal and beauty, um, and entertainment as well. Um, I left this one blank for a minute because I couldn't figure out what I wanted to put in that one. And y'all, this is the, some of the cash that I actually, I already started stuffing, but this is, um, you know, the stack of cash that I had when, um, that I found in my, 
um, from in my cosmetic bag. So um, I'm going to continue to go ahead and stuff. While doing this initially, it felt great. And surprisingly, I didn't sit and think about what I was actually going to buy for each category. I was just excited to see, you know, a couple of dollars in each individual slot. Now, what I can tell you is that my groceries and a lot of things that I actually purchase usually is, uh, you know, online, um, even sometimes dining out, you know, online as well, too. But I figure, you know, it doesn't hurt to take the cash out. I can probably put it on my cash app card for whatever I want to spend my money on and just do it that way. Because I usually don't use my cash app card that often, which is, you know, great. I remember one time I had, you know, a lot of money on my cash app card and I just use, I was able to use my cash app card for like two weeks or whatever I needed. So um, usually when people send me cash app, I just let it sit on the cash app or whatever. But I'm just sitting here just putting, you know, a couple of dollars in each slot and I'm um, just getting myself started. So if this is something that you're interested in, you can definitely, you know, do it um, as well. I encourage you to take a chance to see if you can stick with it. Now, I I committed to sticking to this as well because I do want to gift myself with the um, upgraded binder. Um, I will talk more about that later in the one that I decide because like I said those binders the ones that I want they come with a bundle and they are not cheap so they're not cheap at all I promise you they're not cheap at all but yeah so um some of the stickers like I said they were very duplicate um with categories like they had some um one it was like takeout dining out and and food and I'm just like okay I don't know which one but you know, like I said, you got to cater it to yourself. So showing y'all here um, that I did make sure that each individual um, slot had something in it um, just to get myself started with adding and investing in myself with my budgeting. And I feel like this was a great smart move only because I felt that this was necessary. So with this last slot, even though I don't have anything on there, what I decided to do was I decided to start putting funds away so that I can actually tithe and give offering. Where I'm at in life right now and moving forward is I really want to make sure that I give back to God because he's been blessing me so much and it took me a minute to get here to get back on track and I feel so comfortable with the decisions that I'm making. God always gives me his best so I need to give him my best. Now there may be times where I may fall short but you know what I'm going to keep going and keep moving and I'm just going to keep manifesting investing in myself and just being that person out there that is really trying to do good in the world and like I said taking care of myself and my family is something that's important to me as well too so if you're out there trying to figure out a way on how to how to budget how to save try this to see if it works for you I don't know where I'm going to end up in this journey of budgeting and doing this cash binder but I'm going to get this a shot I'm going to try I'm going to stick with it as best as I can. Thank you for, so much for supporting. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I will see you all soon.